night, my lady. Good evening, your majesty. Sleep well, your majesty. Tend to forget. <laughs> Where's Lancelot? Lancelot? Now, where would you expect to find Lancelot at this hour? I'm asking you. <laughs> Have you checked the chapel? Well, that's a very good suggestion coming from you. Has the Queen retired for the night? That, my lord, is an iffy question. Well, look here, whatever your name is. I don't know what slosh is about to that swampy little mind of yours. But while the King is away, I'm in charge of this place. And I don't go for all that civil law nonsense. You make one false move around me, and you'll face the jury in two sections. Carry the head in myself, gladly. Oh, wouldn't I love that, you medieval delinquent. Pelinor, in a little while I shall be in charge of this place. And soon, gentlemen, the kingdom. Jenny, I was in the yard. I couldn't sleep. I saw your light in the window. I knew you were alone. I tried to stay away. I tried. Did anyone see you? No one. The castle is dark. I was careful. Jenny, don't be afraid. Oh, but I am afraid. I swear we're alone. No one saw me enter. And Arthur won't be back until... Forgive me, Jenny. We're not alone, are we, Lance? We are. We are. We're not. Here you are with your arms around me. And the first thing you can think of is him. But you love me, Jenny. Of course, and I always shall. Night after night, I've thought of you here and wished with all my being. And now that you are, we're less alone than ever. But why? Now that the people are gone, can't you see the shadow between us? It's wider than the sea. It, it fills the room. Oh, perhaps it would have been better if we had never said a word to each other at all. Best. 
twice as much grief, twice the pain for us, twice the despair, twice the strain for us, as we had known before. Jenny. It's because we're here, here in Camelot, no and everything. Less. Jenny, come away with me to Joyous Guard. Let us have it open and above board at last. Yes, I have told you a thousand times. I shall never leave Arthur, ever. Now, let us say no more about it. But this agonizing torment, day after day, year after year. Would God I had your talent for acceptance. Your invincible English calm. Oh, the insensitivity of sensitive men. Always suffering so much they can suffer nothing for others. Do you think you are the only one in torment? I am just as anguished, just as torment as you. And what would you have us do to this man we both love? Oh, run away, leave him. Make him publicly miserable. Force him to declare war on you, or either one of you or both could be killed, as well as hundreds of others. What sort of heartbreaking solution is that? Forgive me, Jenny. I shall never mention it again. I swear. Nor shall I ever come to you again. I swear that too. Lance, have we no more tender words to say to each other? The silence at last was broken. We flung Had been said, here we are, my love, silent once more, and not for my love. Lancelot, <gasps> don't touch your dagger. I accuse you of treason, and order you both to stand trial for your crime. Surrender in the name of the king. Jenny, I shall come and rescue you. If I am killed, send word to Joyce Guard. Someone will come.
dilemma. Let her die, your life's over. Let her live, your life's a fraud. Which will it be, Arthur? Do you kill the queen or kill the law? The jury has ruled that justice be done.
Jenny, he's here. Is either of you injured in the escape? Untouched, Arthur. Arthur, we want to return with you to England. No matter what the cost, we want to try to put things right. This war will do horrible harm to the table, Arthur. We must stop it before it grows. Let us pay for what we have done. At the stake? No. I won't take you back. I shall let you return. For what end? Justice? They've forgotten justice. They want revenge. Revenge. The most worthless of causes. It's too late, Lance. The table is dead. What? Over half the knights were killed in the yard. Mordred has fled to Orkney, taking others with him. I suppose to organize an army against me. The rest are in their tents, itching for dawn, cheerful to be at war again. So those dreadful days come back again. Those terrible days we try to put to sleep forever. Then it's your wish that this dreaded battle go on? Oh, it's not my wish, Lance. But I can think no more. I can think no more what to do but ride the tide of events. Oh, what a blight thinking is. All we've been through, but nothing but an idea. Something you cannot taste or touch, smell or feel. Not substance, life, reality, or memory. <laughs> Raid begins soon. We must go back to Joyous Guard. Jenny is not a Joyous Guard, Arthur. She stays with the Holy Sisters. Is there nothing to be done? Nothing. But play out the game and leave the decisions to God. Now go. Let's go to Jenny. I know. So often in the past, I would look up into your eyes, and there I would find forgiveness. Perhaps one day in the future we'll be there again. But I won't be with you. I won't see it. I see what I wanted to see. Goodbye, my love. My dearest love. Who's there? Who's there? Come out, I say. Who are you, boy? Are you a page? Where did you come from? You ought to be in bed. I stood away on one of the boats, Your Majesty. I came to fight for the round table. I'm very good with the bow. Do you intend to kill people with this bow of yours? Oh, yes, my lord. A great many, I hope. <laughs> Suppose they kill you instead. And I shall be dead, my lord. But I don't intend to be dead. I intend to be a knight. A knight? Yes, my lord, the round table. When did you decide upon this non-existent career of yours? Was your village protected by a knight when you were a boy? Was your mother saved by a knight? Did your father serve a knight? Oh, no, my lord. I never even seen a knight till I stood away. I only know of them. The stories people tell, Stories people tell you wish to be a knight. What do you think you know of the knights in the round table? Everything, my lord. Might for right, right for right, justice for all, the round table where all knights can sit. Everything. 
Come here, my boy. Tell me your name. It's just Tom, my lord. Where are you from? In Warwick, my lord. Then listen to me, Sir Tom of Warwick. You will not fight in the battle, do you hear? Yes, my lord. You will run behind the lines and hide in the tent until the battle is over. Then you will return to your home to grow up, and grow old, active. Do you understand? Yes, my lord. For as long as you live, you shall remember what I, the king, tell you, and do as I command. Yes, my lord. Each evening from December to December, before you drift to sleep upon your cot, Think back on all the tales that you remember of Camelot. Ask every person if he's heard the story and tell it strong and clear if he has not. That once there was a fleeting wisp of glory called Camelot. Camelot, Camelot, say it out with love and joy. Camelot! Bigger! Camelot! Yes, Camelot, my boy. Where once it never rained till after sundown. By 8 a.m. the morning fog had flown. Don't let it be forgot that once there was a spot for one brief shining moment that was known as Camelot. Arthur! Kelly, give me the sword! Neil, Tom, Neil! Excalibur, I knight you, Sir Tom Warwick, and command you to return home and carry out my orders. Yes, my lord. Arthur, what are you doing? We have a battle to fight. Battle? I've won my battle, Pelly. Here's my victory. What we did here will be remembered. You'll see, Pelly. Now run, Sir Tom, behind the lines. Yes, my lord. Run, Sir Tom, through the lines. Who is that, Arthur? One of what we all are, Pelly. Less than a drop in the great blue motion of the sunlit sea. But it seems some of the drops spark up, Danny. Some of them do sparkle.
Um, we gotta make it, um, so I'm award thing is to people. Oh. Okay. We just, we have a few gifts for the people that did the most work on this scene. One of the negative things about uh, theater is that we got the attention, we do the least work, so. We got a few things for the direction and stuff. Um, can we have Ms. Euling, Mr. Lang, Ms. Steinhauser, um, Wade, and Mr. Reese out on the stage, please? Thanks. Are there any chance? <laughs> Fighting scene. Oh wait, wait, it's coming second. Um, for the fighting scene, it was all put together by two guys, Trevor and Adam. So if they can come up here, We've got some stuff for them. So. They, they provided all the swords that we have and everything and trained us to fight and everything, so yeah. Was... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 